Uh, this is 7700 points of damage, it's two negates uh, with two trap cards, and you, plus you also have like three other cards in your Hey Chris! Hey! What'd you do this weekend? I got top 8 at the Pro Play Games uh, Pro Play Tour this weekend. And where was that? In Atlantic City. Atlantic City? Yep. And then how many rounds were there? It was an 8 round tournament. I went 6 2. Uh, I lost round 7 to my friend Tommy, and I lost round 8 to Joe Bogley, who got first after Swiss. Oh, wow. And it was like top 16 or top 32? It was top 16. Oh, top I 16? lost in uh, top 8 to Joe again. <laughs> I was playing Altergeist. And how was that? Uh, it was pretty good. I like this deck a lot. And then, like, what's your worst matchup? Um, I don't have a worst matchup. This deck is perfect. It's perfect? 100%? There we go. Uh, Alright, let's get to the deck. Three multi faker, best card in the deck. Three Malastique, it gets you to multi faker. Uh, going second against Thunder, just this outs Colossus, it's really good. Okay. Uh, three Marionette, it gets you to your trap cards. Three Silk, uh, really good card, it gets great interruption against Thunder, it's just overall. It also really adds good. a trap card from Graveyard. Uh, yeah, that effect comes up like all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one Kun Carry. What is that there? Yeah, it's special. It's just good against everything. Like against Striker, you, uh, you stop their Hayate. Against like uh, this and this is like a combo. Wow. How does it go? So like, if you have Silk on board, you could just summon this from your hand. When they declare an attack. Uh, yep. Yeah, when they declare an attack, you bounce the card, and if they try attacking you again, you could summon it again. So you have like three negates basically. Oh, is that once per turn this thing? Uh, this is not once per turn. Oh no. wow. This is though, yeah. But. Only three Ash Blossom for hand traps. Okay. Uh, not including impermanence. Yep. Three Seeker Village. This is just auto win against Striker. It's also really good against Thunder. Uh, two Desires. Two Duality. This helps me dig for, like, uh, Village. Uh, one Upstart. Wait, wait before before you yeah. go there, uh, for a Duality, is it, it, does the not special summonation affect you at all? When you have Duality? Can you yeah, it? sometimes. Like, this is always dead, like, past turn one, but past turn one, I shouldn't need this. Like, it just gets you to really important cards. Like, sometimes I brick and this is like my fifth card and it gets me to to a card that helps me unbrick. Okay. Yeah. One upside, I just wanted this deck to be as consistent as possible. For trap cards, I'm playing three spoofing, best trap card. Uh, how many this, How many times this card got ashed? When you like put it in the spots? Uh, a few times. Like, ash on this card is pretty bad. But <laughs> at, there was this one time that I came up during the tournament where I had like a multi faker and another altergeist card in my hand. Uh, I activated spoofing, shuffle back the other altergeist card, they ash it, and, and then I activate my multi faker in hand so you can't ash my multi faker. Oh wow. So okay. I, can, I sort of like played around that. That was fun, right? Yeah. Uh, two protocol, really good. Two manifestations. Some people play one, but I feel like two is really good. Why do you want to play this, card, this card's really, just really good, yeah. Oh, really? Why do you want to play two over one? Because one sometimes gets banished off desires, and I feel like this card is very necessary to have like every game. Oh, you always want to resolve it. Yeah, I always want to have it. Okay. Uh, three That's impermanence, so I'm playing six hand traps. Three strike, it's really good against everything. How many times have you uh, impermanence with multi in hand? Too often, like. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, I'm really lucky. Three rivalry. Uh, this card's really good against like the combo thunder decks and against Rongo, because. Uh, you just floodgate them, it's great against Striker. Like, this card is just really, really good. It's very good against Striker. And win order. I always draw this against Striker. <laughs> you always draw against Striker? <laughs> Side deck. Main deck's 40, right? Main deck is 40, yeah. Okay. Three lands. Yeah, I don't think this card is very good, to be honest. You sided against. Like, this card is just always a minus one. It's really get bad against Rongo. I... The hand kept getting better. Mm. Ogre? Ogre? Uh, no, Ogre is probably trash. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Two uh, Panky. This Panky card's, paper tops. Uh, this <laughs> card's really good against the mirror match. It's good against um, like Draco, for example. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this card's nuts against Trickstar. I just like summoned this against uh, my Trickstar opponent, and they just like couldn't couldn't oh, yeah. beat this. Like it's hard. Yeah. yeah. The little girls. Yep. Uh, two Inspector Border for the mirror going first against Thunder Rango. Uh, it's really good. Okay. Uh, it's a fusion does out of that. Yeah, in my top 8 match against Joe, I 
had Borger, the rest of my hand was trash. He goes instant fusion. I don't have the striker and permanents for it, so he just wins. Oh man. Wily too. There's like so many good side deck cards, I can't fit them all into my side deck, so I'm playing a lot of two. Three evenly uh, for striker and alter guys. The mirror match. Mirror? How did yeah. you find that versus striker? Yeah, usually going second against striker this guy is pretty you good. Just say especially powerful. especially if I have multi faker in hand. Okay. Uh, two heavy storm duster for mirror match. Uh, and against striker. Uh -huh. I also played two wire taps this format uh, this uh, tournament. Uh, this card hasn't been very good. It was pretty good against the mirror match. It won me a game. Uh, this is also against the decks that side reboot against me. Cause, oh. Like, it just didn't work out in the end. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be signing this anymore. Uh, also, in my top 8 match, uh, my opponent knew I was siding this, so he just didn't side reboot. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, you played in the Swiss, right? Yeah, I played, uh, I played in the Swiss, yeah. Oh, wow. In uh, one judgment. For a reboot, Denko Psycho. Anything. Yeah, everything. Extra Okay. The one link rebo. Three Hexia, this is standard. Uh this is to out Ultimate Falcon. Who's that? Uh this is Altergeist Prime Banshee. Okay. It just makes Hexia 36 so you beat over Ultimate Falcon. Oh. Uh Clara for when you have village, rivalry, uh this because it's a spellcaster. Nightmare cards, Ningirisu, Warload. Uh, these also to out Ultimate Falcon. Uh, this, I don't know why I play this. Uh, I played this too. I wanted to play Wee Witch, uh, Wee Witch's Apprentice to out Inspector Border, but I can get one, so I just played this and it's my 15th card. So, all his XZs, have you ever made them before? Have you made no, them not once. Because <laughs> there's a lot of space for it. Yeah, you, you can put whatever you want, to be honest. Uh, space is gonna become more strict on deck strike when a uh, pot of indulgence comes out. How do you do damage in this deck? Protocol multi faker is 7700 damage. On end phase, on their end phase, you go protocol, summon faker, and you use faker effect. Uh, summon the Melsi from your deck. On your turn, you link the 208, make Hexia. Uh, Melsi searches for a Mirian editor. Uh, so you summon the Marionetter, set like whatever you want from your deck. Mm -hmm. uh, you use Marionetter's effect, send protocol, summon the Faker. Uh, Faker's effect gets you like Silk, for example. Uh, these okay, okay. Uh, you summon this, and Silk's effect gets you, you back the trap card that you sent. Huh? Uh, this is 7700 points of damage, it's 2 negates uh, with 2 trap cards. Oh. And you, plus, you also have like 3 other cards in your hand. If you have like spoofing manifestation, you could activate manifestation, summon a guy from your grave, and chain spoofing to the manifestation's activation. Uh, the monster still gets summoned because manifestation doesn't have to remain on the field uh -huh. to resolve because it's a normal trap card night. Oh, uh, so it's not a big Yeah, to it. it doesn't come up as often as you think though because sometimes I want this to go to grave so I could add it back to my hand with Silk. Silk with this is a great card. Okay. Uh, but it does come up sometimes. So it, yeah. if you activate your manifestation, right? Yeah. And I chain my like Twin Twister MST mm -hmm. in that. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, well. If they chain something to destroy the manifestation, is yeah. a higher chain link than the manifestation? This goes to grave, but the card can still get summoned. Does still get this, summoned? Does this not need to stay on the field for it? Uh, shout out to my sponsor, Ranks. Um, download the app off the Google Play Store. Uh, it's a platform to like host online tournaments, not just for Yu-Gi-Oh, but for other games, for like any game you want. It's really great. Uh, check it out. Um, our team will make a full appearance at YCS Chicago in two weeks. Hey Ryan, do a quote. We don't wait for the future, we build it. <laughs>